of the Father. That is a beautiful thing. You can count on him. You can count on him to see you through, to prune you when he needs to. Hmm. That's difficult. To water you at the right time. Hey folks, how you doing? Welcome to Esther Ministries. I'm your host, Esther. If you need affirmation of God's love for you, well, this is a video for you. Keep on. Let's pray and we're going to get right into it. Dear Heavenly Father, what a blessing to be alive on this day. What a blessing to know you. What a blessing to be able to just come and spend this few moments with you. You have some grammar for us today. We are ready and we want to hear from you. We ask that your word will come through and our ears will be open and our heart will be ready. And as we learn more about you, God, one, we want to be more like you. Two, we want that joy, that everything, the remnant that you sent to us to come through to us and bless the world around us. Amen. All right, folks. So today yeah, we're going to start a brand new series. It's a deeper study of john chapter 15. this chapter is very personal to me um it's my second favorite chapter and as you know or maybe not know romance chapter 8 is my very very favorite chapter um if it's god's will we will do that study next but now we're gonna focus on john chapter 15. and we're gonna only take one verse like we're gonna do verse by verse now this chapter has 25 verses so we're gonna be on john 15 for a long time and i don't mind i've actually done a writing on it <clears throat> and i will link my blog to it um right here um and yeah so you can check that out um today we are gonna focus on john chapter 15 verse 1 so i already have my bible ready it's open so you can go ahead and open your bible to john chapter 15 verse 1 and it says i am the true vine and my father is a gardener i am the true vine and my father is a gardener very short verse very powerful verse um now little backup so this chapter is super duper important not just to me but actually to jesus who is the one talking here um he was about to die he knew it his disciples knew it his heart was aching you know to say these things like these are the things that are so important to me you know when someone's about to die and they know it every word that they are saying carries weight it's their heart it is their they're everything right so god is jesus is pouring himself out here um and jesus is very careful with words he doesn't just throw out random words the very two wow <laughs> let's try again the very first two words i am in that verse is so powerful um the name i am is actually translated in so many so many ways um but the I am is a short version of I am that I am, which is the name of God. Like literally his name is the I am. And it means that I claim to be who I am and I do not lie about it. So basically saying, you can trust me. You can count on me. The very first two words that come out of his mouth is calling us to be like, hey, everything I'm going to say after this, you can base your life on it. You can count on it. I am. Right? So don't don't gloss over that. It's super important. That's one of our remarks for today. That you can count on the I am to be true to his words. Okay? So he says, I am the true vine the true vine if you have different translation my translation is do, 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 the niv the new international version um but if you have another translation 
um like look through a bond of translation you will say that word true 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 um my mom has like so many bible verses when i first did a study um on this chapter about three years ago um i was like true why did you what true like a vine why does a vine have to be true like a vine is a, a plant why is it true so that word true kind of like, it seemed a bit odd to me and i went through so many translations and it was like true 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 and i was like hmm, there's a grandma here there is a grandma here and the grandma is god would not lie to you there's so many times in our lives we go through things and we feel like the word that god has spoken to us is it true can i count on it is can he be faithful and yes he can he is a true vine there's so many things out there there's so many people out there that come up camouflage or a counterfeit vine where they're like you can count on me you can hold on to me i will uphold you but really the i am he's a true vine he's the one you can count on he's faithful you can trust him to be true to his word okay so that's the second remark one he is the i am he is who we say he is and two he is so true and faithful and he's not counterfeit the last part my father yahweh god the father is the gardener now there's so much more that we're gonna say about this but we're gonna end right here with the word gardener our life as we grow think of it as you being a plant the person who is in charge protecting you watching over you making sure that you are fruitful that's god the father that is a beautiful thing you can count on him you can count on him to see you through to prune you when he needs to hmm. that's difficult to water you at the right time there is so much i'm i'm trying to like take it in because in my head i'm thinking of all the verses that i'm that are in this chapter but we're, we're just gonna stop right there just remember these three things one i am is here for you two he is so true and nothing in the world is true like him and three he is a gardener so you can trust him he is faithful all right god bless y'all have a fantastic week and i'll see you in my next video bye bye well i hope you enjoyed that video and if you did well now is the time to subscribe just click on my face and also my two videos and don't forget to click on the bell.